On this walk, Chris and myself take on the second highest of Wainwright's outlying fells, Black Coombe, taking in several other Wainwright tops and burkits to get a seven mile walk. We start from Beckside and walk along the road to Fox and Goose Cottages where there's a path that takes you up to the first burkit, Whitehall Knot. We then walk along the ridge and then a quick climb up to the second Wainwright of the day, White Coombe. Then walking along the soft ridge we eventually arrive at Stoopdale Head at White Coombe Moss. We then walk round White Coombe Head and White Coombe Screes along to Black Coombe Screes arriving at the highest point of the north top of Black Coombe taking in the south top as well. We then drop down quite steeply back down to Beckside. After just a short period of time and a steady climb to about 200 metres, we're already into fantastic views of the Dunnan Valley, across to Warney Island and as far as the eye can see, straight across the Morecambe Bay. The reward for taking the time to get in the Burkett of Whitehall Knot is a wonderful view of Black Coombe Screes. Good morning from the great height as you can see Mr Graham Saunders rebuilding just so that we can say that we've been here and seen the Irish Sea the wind farms in the background across to I don't know Morecambe Bay maybe and in the far distance Ireland what a fantastic day again to be on the loose with Graham Saunders moaning at me. As I tell my wife, my children and all my friends, I never ever moan. Much. If you regularly follow our exploits, you're aware that we use a GPS and route card system with waypoints on it. As Chris studied the route card, he noted that the next waypoint for Stoopdale Head was in fact incorrect, and according to the GPS was 17 miles away. So a quick consultation of the OS map, and we were soon back on track. Another lesson that cemented our belief that you should never just rely on technology.
across to the Isle of Man and in the distance we can just make out the coastline of Ireland. Back to Graham, the map. Let's see where he is. This fell had the characteristics of a typical Wainwright fell with an excellent shelter and a trig pillar. Great views all round as well. So it's a bit of a mystery at 600 metres, some 3 metres higher than Haystacks for example, one of Wainwright's most famous fells, why it wasn't included in the main ones. For example, having stood on Mungrysdale Common, one of the main Wainwrights, it's even more of a mystery. Perhaps someone could enlighten me as to why it wasn't included. As you arrive at Blackcomb's excellent south top, you're greeted with an uninterrupted view of the whole of the Irish Sea, from as far round as Morecambe Bay, right round including the Isle of Man, Ireland, and indeed you can see the Scottish coastline.
Despite the difficult drop down which was from our own making, we thoroughly enjoyed this walk and we thoroughly recommend it to you. It's an excellent seven miler. We'll now off to Wasdale for something just a little bit higher. And as always, we'll see you out there. <laughs>